Hello, Veto 121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Dragon Quest 8. Hmm. Talk to the bartender, huh? Yeah, he's a murderer, all right. Aha, what is this? Wow, he found some cool cheese. Nice. So I don't even have to make it. I've already got some. Hmm. Yeah, liable to get hurt, huh? Oh, the agony. Oh. Anyways, what do you do? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Shoo, what do I do now? What do you sell? Do you sell anything? Oh, okay, yeah, you make food, huh? Alright. Alright, let's keep exploring here. Is that so? Hmm. Alright then. What's going on? Are you gonna let us through? Oh. Alright, fine. Son named Cash and a daughter named Carrie. Hmm. Well, they're locked in the mansion right now, okay. Yeah, yeah. It is pretty creepy, that's for sure. Okay, there's the, uh, where the hell is the, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Some of the other shops we can find. Good thing in these pots, barrels, or whatever the heck they're supposed to be. Alright, what do you have? Okay, we can buy moon warp bulbs and armor. Amor Seco Essence. I can never pronounce that right. <laughs> Alright. Is there a freaking... Oh, wait. Oh, the weapon shop must have been the armor shop, actually. Yeah. I don't know why the staff are so jumpy right now. Alright, find another mini metal. Awesome. And what's going on with you? Uh, we heard him across the continent. No, we're not in league with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose. Hmm. Alright, we find another mini metal. Yes. Very nice. And the door's locked. Okay. Oh yeah, we can't go out that way, so... Guess we're gonna go back to that, uh... What the hell was it? Wait a minute. Did I go on this side? I don't think I did. There's nothing in here anyways. Really? Hmm. Oh, there's nothing to find in there. Let us... Where are we going here? Uh, yeah, that's right. The casino's locked, I think. Yeah, I don't think we can get inside. Yeah, that sucks. That definitely sucks. I want to do some gambling and get some really good stuff. I think, yeah, we already looked at the church. So yeah, let's go back in here and uh, see if we can find some information. I mean, taverns are really good for information. As Steiner would say, taverns are the prime source of information. Or, I think. What the hell? Well, maybe we... May, oh, maybe we have to go back to the inn. Oops. Yeah, we gotta go to the inn. Okay. Where the hell is the inn at? 
Well, it's in one of these houses. I, don't, I can't remember. This place, every every house looks the same in this town. I honestly, hold on a second. You know, I wish this hotel had like an inn sign on it or something. But yeah, I think we're supposed to come in here. All right, let's check it out. What's going on with you? Oh, you're the gold bank. No thanks. I'll keep my gold. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go around here. Ooh, some books. A non-gambler's guide to Baccarat. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that, I, I would if uh, they would let us in. Alright, we find another mini metal. Yay! Always a good thing. Can we open this? Yes, we can. Alright. Alright, we find a Ruby of Protection. Yeah, okay. Beautiful Ruby that increases wear's defense. Okay, yeah. That's not too bad. It'll be more useful in alchemy. Wait, can I talk to you? Yes, okay. Yeah, murder, huh? I wonder who it is. What's going on with you? Nah, we're good for now. Thanks, though. Oh, where'd you come from? No, I didn't. Well, actually, I did. I just wanted to hear what you said, you know, if I would have said no, so... Alright, let's go down here. Oh. Oh, hey. What's going on in here? Evening crowd, huh? Okay, we'll let him know, I guess. Okay, we get... Some more Seco Essence. And another Mini Metal. Yes! Those are always good to get. Absolutely. Um, what are you doing? <coughs> really? A bunny girl show, huh? Do you pay for, uh, do you need a bunny girl? We got a bunny girl in our party. <coughs> Are they going to give us money if we uh, have Jessica perform? Or get another bunny tail? And a second garter, alright. I don't think the garter can be used for anything else other than making an arrow spell, so yeah. That's about it, actually. Well, let's... Yeah, I guess we could try and come back there at night. But, let us go up, up the stairs now. And, uh... Ooh. Yeah, let's see what's outside first. And there's nothing up here at all. Oh, that was a waste. Ah, what's this? Well, fucking go to the cupboard. Nothing, huh? <clears throat> oh wait, here's our bathroom. But where's the toilet? There's a bathtub. Yeah, yeah, what do they do? Take a shit in these baskets here? Uh whatever, fuck it. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? Okay. So tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me. All right, all right already. But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. Hmm. I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Well, the fact is, Mr. Golding was murdered during the robbery. Murdered? You mean Mr. Golding is dead? Uh-oh. I told you to keep it down. 
That's why nobody's seen hide in the hair of him recently. He isn't among the living anymore. Well, that sucks. But Mr. Golding was such a big man! You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. From the looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. Hmm. I also heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. By the goddess, this is big... Oh, I won't tell a soul. <laughs> you can count on me. Yeah, sure you won't. I'd better get back to my customers. See you later. God! I'm sorry, I, I did not see you standing there. <gasps> did you... did you hear what we were talking about? Oh, forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. Huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll be talking to him eventually, I think. And, uh... What else can we get here? Anything else to find? Alright, we get another dancer's costume. Huh. Alright. What's up with you? Yes, we did. Yeah, okay, buddy. So... Alright, let's find the bartender. I think he went down here, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. Yes, we did. Sure. Some island north of Baccarat. Hmm. Okay, so why isn't their voice acting for this part right here? Just kind of throwing it out there because I'm kind of curious. Okay. Yeah, we might just do that. We might just do that, but yeah, there's stuff we're going to end up doing before we do that. Um, yeah. Alright, I actually went back to the Seaview Church here, and uh, yeah, there's a treasure behind the church that I missed, and... Should be something really good. All right, we find a tough guy tattoo. Uh, this will be used later on in the game to, uh, well, yeah, it raises attack by eight, but uh, it's actually it's actually used to make one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. So yeah, you definitely want to hold on to that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be exploring the areas around here, I guess, going to a new location. And we can't get over from that way. That's fine. That's alright. Let's explore. Yeah, eventually we're going to be going to an area that... Or, an, or a place where we can get something good that's going to make traveling around the whole world much, much easier. So yeah. I want to go for that, get that as soon as possible. Got some massive HP. Jeez. Died. 
Ooh, Jessica's level 25. Alright, very nice. And she learns the Insulate spell. Also very nice. Uh, yep, on the whips. Lusty Lasher. She improves her whiplash technique and masters lashings of love. Hey, alright, very nice. And that is all for this episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. In the next episode, we will continue exploring this Baccarat region here. This is Vettel121. See you next time.